Alan, staggering numbers coming out of India. More than 350,000 cases reported in the last 24 hours, a global record and 2,800 deaths. The videos which we are getting back from India, it is very heartbreaking. Ashfaq Sayed has seen the terrible images coming from India. People being treated on streets, in rail cars, and those who have lost loved ones forced to cremate them in massive makeshift graveyards. I lost my friend, his mom, and one of the children. Three people oh. in, in, a, in a family from one home and in a span of one week. Sayed works for Glory of Hyderabad here in the Chicago area. They're working with Helping Hand, an organization on the ground in India desperately trying to help. Hospitals overrun with sick patients, doctors in need of basic supplies, including ventilators and oxygen. One doctor begging for help because so many around him are dying. We have young patients who will die in a matter of two hours. I request you, please send oxygen to us. We need oxygen for our patients. Please send oxygen to us. Hope may be on the horizon. President Biden calling India's prime minister today, offering emergency help, including ventilators, PPE, and testing kits. The White House tonight pledged to share as many as 60 million doses of AstraZeneca vaccine when it completes a federal safety review. And health experts say this surge of infection possibly being fueled by a double mutant variant of coronavirus in India. Cheryl. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.